Today we are tearing down the B-Link GTI 14 Ultra we recently received, specifically looking to see how hard it is to upgrade the RAM and storage. Now I've been in here to have a look around once before, and from the quick look I had, it appears that to get to the RAM and storage requires removing the built-in speakers, power supply, and a mid plate that holds them both above the main board. So I didn't go any further until I had more time to take a proper look. Getting into the PC is no problem at all. Pop out the grommets and unscrew the four visible screws. Pull the bottom panel off using the built in handle and you're in. Next, the dust guard needs to be removed. This is also done with four screws, which are the same screws used throughout the inside of the PC, except for those holding down the speakers and the power rails. After taking off the first two layers, which was quite easy, I had to take a few minutes to figure out what to remove next. I decided to go with the power supply first, unscrewing two mounting screws and then moving on to the positive and negative terminals of the power supply. Moving on from the power supply, I tackled the screws under it, holding down the mid plate, and then moved on to the speakers. Finally, right next to the speakers, there is a standoff screwed into the mid plate. After doing so, the mid plate could be flipped to one side, not fully removed as the ribbon cable for the speakers is stuck to it with adhesive, giving us our first look at the RAM and storage. B-Link has gone with a full crucial setup using two 16 gigabytes DDR5 5600 SOD-IN modules and for the storage using Crucial's P3 plus 1 terabyte PCIe M.2 SSD. As you might have noticed, right next to the populated M.2 slot is the Wi-Fi card, an Intel Wi-Fi 7 BE200 module, which sits under another M.2 slot, which is where we'll be adding another 1 terabyte M.2 SSD from Kingston, both of which are cooled using two thermal pads stuck on the mid plate. Overall, it took me about 30 minutes to get into the PC to add more storage to it. While it wasn't the hardest thing to do, doing so without any instructions 
and needing to remove components definitely made it harder than expected. Thanks for watching and subscribe so you don't miss our full review of the B-Link GTI 14 Ultra once it's released.